Welcome everyone to the durational concert of social dissonance. Thank you for coming. I would kindly ask you to stay for the whole hour if it is possible because it's very important for um, for us to build something together. So if you are constantly go in and out, it's gonna be super difficult for us to to build uh, something uh, collective. Um, so in the meantime, if you want to leave, of course you are free, but you will be asked to give us a short feedback explaining why you are leaving, just because we want to take into account your comments and learn from them. Um, so yeah, there is live streaming going on, as you can clearly see. on Periscope and the video will be archived and projected tomorrow on this wall the whole day. Uh, over there you can see the same concert uh, in Castle right now through a live video call on Skype. Um, and um, over there at the stand, you can read our score. It's not so easy, so your interpretation and contribution is not only welcome, but also quite important. Uh, so if you want to stay, if you want to remain just an observer from the outside, I think maybe it's better to leave, because uh, what we are doing now is quite um, interactive, let's say. So, for this concert to start, I would suggest that we all stand up. And I would like to... I would like to start with a simple question about who you are, and the question is uh, whether you are an artist or not. So let's say artists should go there and everything else should go from this uh, to this side of the room. Facebook can go on this side of the room and people that don't use Facebook can go on this side of the room. Okay, let's say Apple, iPhone, iOS, or yeah, Apple in general, and anything else. Because I see many people from 
this side, maybe we, we could also try more than 2,000 euros and less than 2,000 euros. You know, our more than two and less, okay. other questions in order to understand how happy you are in uh, you know in compare com comparing the other people in the room <laughs> what and maybe how you how do you perceive happiness is it uh, the feeling of being fulfilled or satisfaction or uh, Understanding what the other side can be and what the other side is. It's about finding why you exist between them. So, relative. Okay, who thinks that he or she is the most happy person in the room? It's me because I have a birthday today. You oh. have? Oh. Oh. Shall we sing? Birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Yeah, you deserve it. Okay. Okay, so you go here. Who thinks that he or she is the next happier person Me. Because um, I'm uh, his wife and I um, share his happiness. Okay, the third one. Fair enough. <laughs> so you can stand next yeah. to him. The third one. Why? I had birthday at the beginning of the week. Okay, apart from the birthdays. No, no, I have a fantastic wife. Who is she? Um, She's with me here. Okay. And I have two really great daughters. And I love them. And they love me. It's fantastic. Okay. Uh, does anybody want to beat him? We <laughs> have two daughters and two uh, small children. Thank you. Okay, for the fourth position. I will be the fourth position. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. And anybody who wants to Okay? The fifth one. Me. Why? I have to have a bit of sun. It's nice to be together. What? The sun be there. Uh -huh. We're having this uh, on the documentary here. Today. What do you think? Childless people uh, don't deserve to be <laughs> happy. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Mm -hmm. Just because you both three said about your children. But it's nice. as long as nobody wants to say something about it, are we okay with the fifth position? Okay. Yeah. The, the sixth one? Why? Because I can hear in uh, 10 now. 
Yeah? I can now I can stay here in Aten. For how long? Seven days. Okay. Because <laughs> the documenter. And you're very happy about it? And you're very happy about it. We're happy about it. Yes, we, yes, yes. We have come from Casa. Yes. Yeah. Anyone wants to Come next? Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm happy because I saw something today that was amazing. What? I, I'll tell you later, but it was just amazing. Okay, next one. Yeah, I'm going to hide the voice and get in the depressive side, I guess. Oh, I feel just well. So. Why? Why I just feel well. And, well, the weather is nice, I've seen some nice work, so I'm going to wait my father. So Anybody that has an obje objection? Uh, that I just like to be here, that it has been a good stay since now. So. Okay, no so go on with the, um, the happiness of the group is contagious. <laughs> it's funny, it's funny. Uh, I'm not always uh, very happy, I'm not uh, very sad, sometimes I'm sad, sometimes I'm happy, sometimes I'm happier, and so I cannot find my position in this line. I can be the last, I can be the first, um, sometimes. And now I am, I think I sometimes don't take uh, much time to realize how happy or how satisfied I am, uh, because I have always something to do. But maybe if I take uh, more time, maybe I am very sad, I don't know. Normally uh, you reassess afterwards. Uh, once more, please. It's more like a reassessment about no, the, no. the past. Now I'm being somehow neutral positive. I don't feel very happy. And also, this is the situation in this room. It is uh, something exciting. I don't know what is going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? What's your expectation? I think what do nothing you th uh, bad is going to happen to me. I feel safe uh, in Greece. Or at the time in Greece in general? In Greece in general, in this place. Mm -hmm. Not everywhere in Greece, maybe. Okay, so maybe we should make some. Uh, and we should find some. Yeah, because. You're the last one? Let's be together. <laughs> maybe, maybe we could. I don't know. Sure. Are, are we all satisfied from the line and from the position that we have in it? Or let's try to, to stick to our places. I, yeah, let's see. We have to, we have to be included. So, um, let's, uh, let's place ourselves. Um, so, let's, uh, let's say your number. You're close to 100%, but not exactly, but quite close. Or you're like... 98. 98. And the other limit? 80. 8? Wow, okay. Oh, okay. So you are... So let me go a little bit further. <laughs> okay, back. and you are... I'm okay. Summer is coming, so that's a good thing. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing next year. This is good and bad, so let me be the last one. So the middle will be... 9%. Okay, we have a half a group. Um, I will be somewhere here, I think. Okay, I have a question. Are are you all okay with the position that you have taken in this line? Is there an objection? Or we uh, can take this? Is 80 okay? What? Is 80 okay? 80. Is 90 okay? Then I understand now. You want to go this way? <laughs> you can go. Anyone else that wants to change position? So if you are 70 and you are 98, are we all 
okay okay so maybe we could form two groups the ones that are uh, like down the 50% of the level of happiness in this room and the other half that are more than 50% of the level of happiness in this room so we're one two three four five six what so this is the limit and we can form two groups and I suggest that we speak together in each group ah okay excuse me could you give some comments guest. You know? I'm, I'm, for, um, I want to go to the next performance and I'm light and I'm too late and I'm I'm fang an zu schwitzen wenn das wenn ich zu spät komme. Was? <laughs> Maybe I come late. You can't have both performances. Okay. At the same time. Yeah, the okay. And we, we At the same okay. time. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so now that we have uh, two people from this group, yeah, you were the last one, okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay. Uh, the groups, I suggest that we speak together and we find reasons for being not that happy and reasons for being very happy and then we can share them with the other people in Kassel. Okay. And let's make a list. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Yes, that is. List on what? Are we, are we the best ah, okay, yeah. So we need a paper and a piece of paper. Do you have a test? Yes, I have. Um, I went to the, the hill that is opposite the Acropolis and I saw the Shrine of the Muses and there was a, a hive of bees. In Philopapu? Yeah, in Philopapu there was a hive in the Shrine of the Muses. And in ancient Greek literature and philosophy, the idea that you've got honey on your lips or that you're even like you kind of eat bees or bees are around your mouth. And I was just amazed. Maybe it's it's always been there, but I was I was so excited to find the bees. So that, that, that's what made me happy today. You you can make a list and okay, so the bees. maybe if you have a pen. I have a really bad pen. It's failing me. You can take one piece of paper. And I mean your economic abilities. So economic, yeah. economic abilities, financial, yeah, financial abilities. I guess this concerns Greek people. <laughs> what? Uh, financial? Yeah. 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 We've come up with two things, I think that's... Refugees. Refugees. Uh, what is it? What's this one? Refugees. 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 Yeah. Okay. Um, Why does it make you happy? Uh, How does that make you happy? Yeah. Unhappy. Unhappy. Oh, unhappy. If yeah, you this are is a list of no, If you lost so many you things that are important for you. Okay, so that makes you unhappy. Yeah, so, it makes us unhappy. So, are we discussing what makes us happy observer, or what makes us unhappy? As an observer. Yeah, okay. Okay. So unhappy? No, so, no. So, no. So, no. All the major problems like uh, mm -hmm. pollution. Uh, Sorry. What makes me unhappy is when people try to impose their opinion and way of being onto myself. So like you should live like this, or this mm -hmm. is the correct way. Oh. So this manipulated uh, kind of uh, attitude. Suppression? Suppression. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Suppression. You could write down help, of course. Love. So there's love. So love is something that's uh, um, 
Hero's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so these are all comfort underlying these is kind of more. Yeah. So, so love is something that is just from Castle are Maybe sending us the general, the general condition are you ready? between not people yet? In the world. you need two more minutes? The they're hostile to each other ok, let's have two more minutes and then we can speak with people from Castle okay? this kind of separation that makes us suffer this can be uh, yeah. Yeah, not, not this yeah. cannot make me um, absolute happy <laughs> of course. Your group? 
to speak with people from Kassel. Yeah. Okay? Who can do that? I guess. You? So. <laughs> So, Mati, are you listening to me? Yes. Okay, uh, we brought the happy people because we saw that the comments were from your happy people, right? Yeah, but we're coming here for the happy What? Here we're coming from the happy people. Okay, so. Uh, one of our happy people is going to read your comments and then they will write you back their own comments, okay? Okay. okay. You can see it. And here are the comments that the people from Castle made for us. Well, uh, the reasons for being happy. So, can you um, go up to these comments and read them? Okay. Yeah, before, uh, after that. <laughs> okay. So, Can somebody uh, read them? Yeah. Okay. Sunshine, I know what I want. Confidence. Food, because I know myself. Shared experience. Good health, because I feel blessed. A good night's sleep and coffee. I love my daughter. Poetry. I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive. Are we getting a real center of attention here? Okay, this is here. Oh, we are. We are getting a real center of attention here. Yeah. And you can write your own stuff. Where's the... Uh, does it just go straight? Down? Yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah. And maybe you can share it with the other group. So, it says our children. Our grandchildren, it's my birthday, it's my husband's birthday, I feel in the moment. Something amazing happened to me today. Is alive. Yeah. What about bees? Hmm? What about bees? Oh, 
<laughs> okay, so um, are you listening to us? Uh, yes. Can you bring an unhappy person to see their own reasons too? So maybe we could write simultaneously the comments. Okay. Shall we take it personally? Oh, you see the buttons. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. What they just feel like it's not working. Okay. So maybe we can, we can share uh, the comments from the other group. Some kind of separation. Yeah? Yes. Do you, do you have a. Yeah? Can you do it? Let's all gather here and see what we just wrote. I just read it out. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the first one we thought of was the world, the environment. So the actual nature in the world, the environment. Um, the second was the financial ability within the economic situation. Third, seeing the suffering of the refugees. Uh, the fourth, the dysfunctional relationships, emotional suppression, health problems, and finally, the separation in its big context. Can 
empathic problem, the other group respond to these problems like, I don't know, help the other half of the people get over this. You, you want to ask if these problems do not influence our happiness? That's the question. What do you think about this? Of this list? Well, first impression was you got all those abstract items and we have more the personal items. Mm -hmm. That's interesting because of course we are not silly as happy. I'm happy today, you know, uh, I'm not silly but I know everything that you know also and noticed but for me today I blocked it out. I said no I don't want to know, uh, I want to think about it. I don't want to think about it. And on my other thinking is of course it's all there, of course it's all there. But I can also get a life being more yeah, silly happy. These things, are, these things make us depressing, of course. But I think the only way to get against this depressing is to, to do something against it. To find ways to push it against it. I, I can explain very good that, I mean, you have to be active against it so you can be somewhere happy. Otherwise you're depressing. And action would be... Action and politic, political action or something else. To, to um, give up the happy vibration, to harmonize the unhappy uh, situation. Well, not a harmonize. Not a harmonize. There are these, con uh, these conflicts. And you have to be a part of this conflict on the right side. But it's maybe not conflict, but meeting, social interaction. So you are, um, we are happy about the refugee crisis. You still do something against it. The first step is to meet people, to speak with them, to ask them how they are, to give them what they have, what they need, respect, and acknowledge. So I think. To do something, it's not doing something, it's just it's, uh, it's, it's a human act of uh, well, so, social, social communication. Or the bees. Of the, of the refugees. I mean, yesterday we arrived just from the airport, coming by the, by the train, and there was some, met somebody who are working in a with the refugees, refugees, and we do so the same. And we are, in this part, at this moment, we are just the connection. And this was very good. It just happened. Very good. And they were, she was active, we were active, and we had the same level. Thousands of years ago. <laughs> Yeah, do we have anything to tell? Uh, also somehow, because we're, we're quite, you know, we're almost on the same level of happiness, 80%, it's not a big difference. Um, we're not the unhappy types, not below 50. Personally, I believe in, well, that's my personal view, I think we can bring out here, in the yin and yang world, the idea of tension, and that it's necessary for development and evolution, somehow. So I'm not saying that problems need to be, uh, I just think that in history, like throughout the whole world history, there's always um, somehow uh, situations that you know, deaths and you know, catastrophes and human suffering with births on the other side. Like every minute there's four, I think the statistic was four births and every second, four births and two deaths. So it's unbalanced, but there is a, a coexistence of the two. The birth is something that it goes without saying that it is something uh, good. 
Uh, I wouldn't call it good or bad. I think we're in the age where good and bad, those those notions should be pretty. Exist. It is yin and yang. It seems to be. Well, it doesn't say good and bad. bad? No, it's, it's yin and yang. It's just pretty much balances the forces. Which of, of uh, construction and destruction. Of uh, the construction being good and, and, uh, and destruction being bad. Well, it doesn't place the words bad and good onto those notions. It's it, it pretty much says it is. I don't, I don't find, you know, um, I think everybody has to be aware of, of things so it's good to identify and have a dialogue and then act, but somehow um, it's not about bad and good, it's not about, I think that there is a problem maybe with this, this bad and good and holding to those ideas of bad and good. But financial system is bad. I'm convinced about that, it's bad. Well, it doesn't, it does, it, it destroys um, humans, it's bad. It destroys the environment, it destroys the world. But if I think mean, it's bad. It's being evolved somehow with you know, the fact that it's, um, in a way, it's being optimized for a human condition through the discussion and through their attack on it. And somehow, you know, eventually, maybe it will become something that functions. And in some areas it does function. It's functional. Or it's functioning. It's simulating uh, a uh, uh, system that is not there. Um, in former times we had the system um, of values by, for example, gold and, and so, but now it's it's just an imagination of financiers. So yeah, it's, uh, yeah. it's, it's function, not for the whole, it's function for a few. Well, that's true, I don't deny that, but in the alternative would be the solution. What would be the solution? There's no solution, but we have to face this problem. You could also start by saying that it's not relative, that there are, I mean, I think that making distinctions between good and bad can sometimes feel very difficult and, and unnecessary, but you know, I don't think that anyone should have a billion dollars in this world. I don't see why they should, and for me they are bad from the very fact of having that money. Now because of that point, like that, I mean that, that's a judgment, that is, you know, if, if they were in this room, the billionaires in this room, um, who would have been celebrating birthdays of billionaires, would have been celebrating lives of billionaires in this room, doesn't mean that I think you're a bad person, but that fact of accumulation and, dis and um, discrepancy between wealth is something that has a moral well, Perhaps that in, in, in the future there will be... Can we all speak up a little bit? Just speak a little bit louder so everybody can hear and understand and I also the, for the archive Okay, so perhaps in the future um, there will somehow be enough social pressure for the, those you know, the top players through growing middle class in the developing world and in the developing countries. You know, for example, this is just an example that I can think of. Enough social pressure um, for there to become an equilibrium. So, Literally speaking, the billionaires will somehow feel all the social stress and stress from having to manage all their resources. It's actually quite stressful, I think. It's a stressful lifestyle. With, um, I think a certain person preferred his job before. Well, there's always risk in return. I mean, there's a, the, the risk factor that very often is associated with return. So I think people do tend to have a stress and <laughs> I that's my personal thing. But yeah, I think that somehow... They have safety. We talked about safety, or you, you, sorry, you talked about feeling safe in this place. And, and yes. safety is a very interesting issue. Like, the question, you know, a billionaire may not feel safe in the sense of, I could always have more. Mm. But their safety is definitely, if you were lining up there, the billionaire on one side, as 
financial safety, you can educate your children in a particular way, you can let them not be part of certain um, environments, you can, you are not hungry, or, you know, that you're not, you're in a secure environment where, you know, you can own property, these kinds of things. There are conditions that people might say are happy conditions. Does anyone there actually secure it? Anyone in this room think that money equals happiness? Strictly. Uh, somehow security. But uh, maybe the security of knowing that the world tends to an equilibrium and it's all supposed to be there. It's already a security somehow. Um, I don't know, poverty is poetry. That's how I would think. <laughs> there's, there's so many beautiful things in poverty. Um, what? Poverty could be poetry. I'm not saying it is, but it could be. In, a, what in good an things? environment that's, that's, that's uh, where you can have that, I think it's a possibility. Like? What good things come from? Well, not having to think about managing your resources. That's the first thing. I think when you have funds, you, you, you're worried about, you're, you're, a lot of your, your um, energy goes to um, so, somehow managing uh, the idea of it. If you don't have funds, you're free. You're free to move. You don't have a possession. You're, and of course, I'm not speaking of you know uh, people in crisis here. Don't get me wrong. But talking about, but I'm talking about people that are in the, you know in the, in the world where we are. I find it very. I don't have a wage. I find it liberating. How do you live? Well, um, just staying in people's places from time to time. Family helps. I'm an artist, so. And I so have you're an artist. artist. You do what what you like as a profession. That's good. I mean, and on the same time, you can have uh, your family helping economically for your survival. Uh, at times when I really need it, yeah. It doesn't seem like real poverty to me. Not real poverty, no, of course. Uh, I, I, I don't think that in this world, real poverty, in our world here, real poverty is possible. There you don't think that? I don't think, you know, if you compare it to a situation in, let's say, Bangladesh, that's, that's poverty. I live, I live in the United States, and if, if my son had a, an illness, that would mean, I mean, even though I have insurance, there could be bills that could come up very quickly get me into poverty. In that, in that situation, poverty could happen with just one, one unlucky, unfortunate act. So a, a literal poverty, not not any kind of any defense. It's, 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 it can be really swift in that system. So that system itself, uh, which one's not But you're still very happy. Oh no, I'm, I'm, it's precarious though. There is precarities there. So money doesn't make happy, but it also doesn't make secure. So That's why there are billionaires. Mm -hmm. Because the accumulation makes them think they're going to be more secure. secure. Mm -hmm. So going back to the idea of happiness, I, I was thinking that it's... Um, for many people it might be something uh, constructed and maybe can only be captured in uh, little details, like you said. So a uh, simplistic explanation could be that uh, all the may, all the big problems uh, are connected to unhappiness and all the small little things. Uh, so it's not about. Um, so, yeah, anyway, I lost. Um, well, the so, uh, may so, I interrupt? So, yeah. I, um, I was thinking that um, I was not so honest, and maybe it was not only me. Um, for instance, um, I don't have any problem to admit that um, I'm flirting a lot with depression the last two years. 
However, I placed myself somewhere between 80 and 70 percent. And yeah, uh, only the last week, I think I uh, I have cried like like uh, five times, which is not a bad thing. Uh, it's just an observation. So, um, so yeah, maybe you have uh, we have mythologized a little bit um, ourselves being happy uh, and what's happiness and what brings happiness and is it something that can last? I don't know. I don't think so. Um, and considering the whole session today, the, the concert. I, yeah, it ended up like a nice conversation, which is, which is nice, but uh, it's not exactly the interaction we have. Um, the interaction with Castle is a is a quite new thing for us, and we're still trying to find a new balance. Um, yeah, the previous days we had many technical difficulties and. I think it doesn't allow us to go deep to and really uh, see what we are creating and forming and see the direction we get uh, and really focus on that. It's um, yeah, and we lose a lot of uh, tension as well. Uh, uh, the other day it was like um, a pure trolling thing. Today it was a nice conversation, but uh, we miss a little bit these those moments that uh, there are things at stake and you don't know exactly what it is, but there, there is this this feeling that ah okay there is something happening but you don't know yes. what it is actually the technology keeps on betraying us the last four days how, how many is it and I, I really have this problem how we all say like very easily oh now with the internet the whole world is connected and it's not <laughs> I mean it's not working uh, like it should be and I don't know why but about the conversation okay of course everybody lied a little bit about their level of happiness but uh, and actually this was not a line of according to the level of happiness but it was the, a line according on the confidence of people to pe to place themselves in the different positions or their uh, being a saint of talking or i don't know something like that as it occurred uh, but actually about the conversation, it's very interesting to me how uh, many times that I have been in a uh, conversation about happiness, it always turns out um, to speak about economical uh, issues and this is very, very uh, logical to me because even if you feel safe about your survival like the, the next you know the next day even if you're not poor uh, it's it is a, a problem to me that the humanity still doesn't feel secure about its own survival like uh, of course okay in greece that we have this uh, whole economical crisis go on uh, of course you you don't feel safe that you will have like a home in four years and it's not and i don't think it's only in greece i mean uh, being you know a little bit uh, unlucky or making one or two wrong decisions can drive anyone in all over the world in poverty and in uh, homelessness and in uh, not being able to survive and it's crazy to me so this conversation is totally um, connected to me with happiness. And what I wanted to say before this interview language, we have another 